Gentlemen, street talk and other stuff. Mike Mad Dog Magnati, thanks for tuning in today. Nice to have you back. Hey, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, a lot going on this weekend. We had a uh, Special Olympics here. We had uh, my wife's nephew was over here participating in that. That was kind of cool. But we weren't here. I was actually over in Arlington because my brother-in-law is the drama director for Arlington High School, and they put on a play called Susical. Uh, so we were over their house for a while, and it was interesting because my, my sister was cooking, and my sister's the type of cook who uses the smoke alarm as a timer. So, <laughs> so a little interesting, you know. But um, speaking of food and fruit, now why is it that uh, we say that you're a peach and that's a compliment? But then if somebody's crazy, we say they're going bananas. Now, I just kind of think this, this fruit diversity is tearing our country apart, don't you? <laughs> And one question, why do women have cleaner minds than men? You ever realize that? Women just don't seem to go into the gutter with their minds the way we do. And the reason women have cleaner minds than men is because they change them more often. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, but hey, street talk and other stuff. Look, I got a good show for you today. One of my favorite people in the whole human race is on with us today. Darcy Christopherson from the Apple Blossom Festival. But, hey, got a good show, so stick around. We'll be right back. So. I'm Jenny Rojanasatian, and this is Guada TV. Every week we will be bringing you a first look at North Central Washington business, tech, and education news. You'll hear from local influencers and innovators who live right here in the Valley. Together we'll discuss hot topics, current events, and resources that can support your business, our schools, and this community. Join me every week and let's get inspired. Just as when went on the air, Steve, NCW Life is live now on Facebook. Hey, how is about that? We're live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Dan Koontz, your host for the next hour. Every weekday, starting at 7 o'clock. Get ready for a bunch of news that's coming your way. Here's what's happening around North Central Washington. We'll have a rundown of all your local, regional, and statewide news. You can also find more on our website at ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. That's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley on NCW Life News. If you're stuck trying to find the perfect beer for you, look no further than Badger Mountain Brewing. We specialize in creating tantalizing craft beers that will soothe any picky taste buds and will satisfy your cravings. Check out everything from our amazing honey blonde that will appease even the most finicky taster or a delicious frothy stout for dark beer lovers. Experience them all at Badger Mountain Brewing. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Protect your family and save money with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to Guardian Services from Localtel. Call Guardian Security from Localtel now or visit localtel.net to learn more. stuff nice to have you here but look my hey Darcy Darcy Christopherson she is the <laughs> festival administrator for the Wenatchee Apple Blossom Festival this has been going on for how long now 99 years 99 yep. oh so yep. next year's the hundred? next year's the hundred Ooh, next year cool. is is it all right and how long have you been doing it well, uh, this will be my 24th festival, okay. oh, so right. the 100th will be, of course, my 25th. Your 20th. Oh, that's kind of cool. Isn't that weird? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I think of it more as being weird. I mean, yeah. when you think that it's a 100-year festival and I've been a quarter, working a quarter of it yeah. as the administrator, that's just kind of overwhelming a little bit for me. Well, it's great, though, I mean, yeah. because you've done a good job. But what, okay, over those 25 years and that kind of thing, and compared to what it's been like before, what's been... What's been interesting or what's been different? So Well, when I started as administrator, that was the first year that we separated from the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. So that's when we officially became our own. Uh, so that was really an interesting process for a 26-year-old uh, to True. deal with, you know, how do we pay these bills? 
Um, I have to be a manager of someone and others and a board. It was okay, just so some a of the Chamber of Commerce was kind of administering yeah, everything before then, that? And yeah, and oh, forever, the yeah. Chamber of Commerce, we were an umbrella of the Chamber of Commerce. So then uh, Festival 1995, uh, we separated from the Chamber. And uh, it was a great decision for us, and still is. Well, how'd they like it? how the I think it like was it? a good thing. Um, I barely, I don't really remember it very well. I was on the board then, but a lot of it was already yeah. done before I came on. It was all a vision, um, and I was just kind of the tail end of that vision. Okay, all right. So it was just something that was handed to me, and it, it just happened. Yeah. So, uh, but I think what's changed a lot is how much we've grown. I mean, even though we were 11 day festival, back then in the early 90s you know we every event that we do now is just so much bigger sure. you know we have a beer garden that's yeah. all 11 days of the festival entertainment which in the i park. have yet yes. to go to <laughs> one of these days i'm gonna what? go what well the problem is the parking rosie says let's go down to oh the food oh my gosh Where you, know, you can walk Where? you can you can park <laughs> up at rec park even and walk down a rondo to the beer garden that's not very far that's like half a mile no it's not that bad <laughs> But you could walk. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> you we'll, could do that. We'll keep that in mind. So. But yeah, so the beer garden's grown, entertainment in the park. You know, when I started, we didn't have that. Right. So we, we every event that we've created has just grown in, to masses. So I think that's probably be, been the biggest change in the last 24 years is just how big our events have, have come. Cool, excellent. Know. And that... Good job. Yeah, yeah, and great volunteers. I yeah. mean, it's always oh, yeah, a volunteer a coming crew. to me saying, "Hey, let's do this." Yeah. Um, I don't think any of the things that we do now was my idea. It was somebody else's idea, and they said, "Let's do this," and we thought about it as a board, and now, we did it. This is the sign of a good leader. I bet you ten to one that some of these things were your ideas. Okay. I can't remember, but, but okay. <laughs> but you just help people succeed, yeah. right? Okay. Great. Good job. Great. Well, we have. We I'd have love to work for you. Oh, I'm not thank gonna. You. But <laughs> we have. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, we would. We would. <laughs> we would. Okay. So selection night. Just had mm -hmm. selection night. How'd it go? It was great. Yeah, it seems so long ago. I mean, yeah. when was it? Three weeks ago. It was like three yeah, weeks like ago. Three right. weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and it was great. We 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 talked a little bit earlier about how this year the. The committee, which is the Wenatchee Central Lions Club, who right. have been directing pageant for 50 years, uh, they really focused on the girls this year. We didn't have a lot of banter with the MCs. We didn't have a lot of extras. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <coughs> the opening number was fabulous. Um, the fabulous feet dancers uh, right. did it, and it was yeah, great. Um, Melissa, Melissa. Melissa Port. Port. Yeah. Yeah. She choreographed. Uh, she does a lot of the shows. Yeah. She yeah. choreographed. Um, Music theater. Uh, Mary Poppins. Yeah. I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I was flabbergasted. And, yeah, and it was again, great. She you does just, a great job. You yeah. just go with somebody else's vision, and that's kind of what we did as as directors is we said, uh, we have no idea what to do with the opening number. Yeah. Here you go. And she just did it and it was it was awesome. So selection night was great. It was great having it on NCW Life. Yeah. You know, we had it on Facebook <clears throat> Live, we had it on we streamed it, we had it on TV, and I mean everybody watch pageant whether they were at a basketball game it, so that was really sure really special for the 10 girls and and this group of 10 girls were very special I mean they they all loved each other they yeah. all support each other they didn't know each other mm -hmm. until they made the mm -hmm. 10 and they really created this this amazing bond and and really and as you know this doesn't happen every year where you're, they're truly happy for the three that continue yeah, on even yeah, though good. they want to do it right. they really want it they were thrilled for the three right. that, that continued on. Okay, so. so break down the royalty a little bit. I do want to say two weeks from today, Queen Greta Wiersma mm -hmm. yep. will be on. She'll be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, but tell us yeah. a little bit about the the three, the the queen well, and the, the two princesses. Well, the queen, uh, they so. all three t attend Wenatchee High School. Okay. Uh, Greta is actually a running start student, so I don't think she has any classes at Wenatchee High School. But oh, she's that's still considered we're probably where my son and my grandson yeah. Alan knows her because he's running start too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He says she's a nice gal. She's a very. They all so. three are very yeah. sweet, and uh, so <laughs> she she's um, uh, loves soccer and track. She's actually going to be doing track this year. Mm -hmm. She she talked to her coach, and she's the co-captain for track. So she decided to to take that on and do apple blossom and track. Okay, and what does she do on the track team? Is she a runner? Or? I think 
I'm not. I a think shop, she's a she runner. Shop putter. She's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> and I don't think she throws that long the thing either. Right. I don't think okay. she because my stepdaughter does that. So I, I don't. I think she's got to be a runner. Okay. She looks like a runner okay. to me. So. Uh, so she does track, and then we have Sophie. She's very, Princess Sophie Costello. She's very involved in DECA and FBLA, mm -hmm. huge. In fact, she was um, at DECA State during the announcement of our junior royalty. So okay, and what's FBLA? Future Business Leaders of America. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. good. So she's good. really involved, mock trial. Yeah. Um, she's into all that. She wants to be a teacher. And then we have Jessie Murray, she, Jessica Murray. She is uh, very active in uh, student government mm -hmm. at, at Wenatchee High School, and she's just, she's just great. I've known her since she was, my son is also in this class, my well. stepdaughter and, and my son, Cole. So. Oh, so you've known this group. So guy. I've known oh, this group. Cool. So it oh, was kind great. of a, a, it, it was a, a heartwarming year for me, just yeah. as a mom, seeing these girls that I've seen since they were, babies, you know, participate in this and grow up so much. So it was great. So Okay. Yeah. So people liked it, they were happy with the selections, oh, yeah. that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, and you I'm know? getting that constantly, you know, when I'm at Costco or uh, Fred Meyer, it's oh the royalty's so great. Yeah, they good. did this. And I actually am getting they uh, for Dr. Seuss's birthday they they read mm -hmm. at different schools and um, emails from teachers and principals saying how wonderful these girls were and you know you, again you don't get that every year yeah. and I always forward them off but to get that so early on is is very sweet and of course they have a song that they sing I don't know if you remember that one Marie was involved that they had to sing no, a song. No I don't remember the song. Yeah, they always they always make up a song okay. of some sort so right. I haven't heard it yet I will hear it this Friday but okay. I did get an email from Stamilt saying that their song was awesome. So that's a good sign. Oh, good. <laughs> sometimes I get emails <laughs> I that just imagine. the song uh, Darcy, need to work on Darcy, just a little need, bit. <laughs> you need to listen to this song in private. <laughs> yeah, so. we need to work on the song. So the song is cute, I guess. So. Okay, so selection night is, of course, a big night. But in the whole course of the hierarchy of, of festival events, where does... I mean, selection night, is that the crowning glory or is the Well, you know, again, the, the festival the has, has kind of changed you know. so much through the years that, you know, we have this big auction in October. So that's okay, kind of right. a big deal in October. And then we have this pageant in, in February that is a big deal. But really, and I say this to the girls and to their parents at a meeting right when the girls are chosen, we call it our heart-to-heart -heart meeting, and I tell them, okay, I'm on to other things now. You know, you're, you're great, right, you know, right. and you represent us, but the chaperones have you, have you, and we're on to other things. So that's why I'm, it's weird talking about pageant right now because I'm on to junior royalty, entertainment in the park, the golf tournament, yeah. youth parade, grand parade. You know, there's so many other things that, that we're, you know, focused on right now. Yeah, so. no, yeah you just pick your junior royalty too. We did. So, good. Yeah. Nice girls. Sweet yeah. girls, and that's just one of my favorite. If you're ever having a bad day, come <clears throat> and hang out with us on junior royalty announcement day. Really? It oh, is cool. like good. the best ever. And we've been doing that since 1994. And we started that with only 18 essays, and this year we had 82 essays, oh, wow. a top 11. Oh, cool. I mean, it's just grown into, and they go to three parades. Yeah. You know, they go to yeah. Othello, and then they'll go to OMAC, and they'll end with Leavenworth. So, so these junior royalty girls do a lot. Well, my daughter, uh, Marie Magnati Scanlon, who I just happened to mention was a princess back in 97. One of my first so, ones. Yeah. Oh. She said that one of the best nights of all and being involved with Apple Blossom was the night they went with the junior royalty to the carnival. Oh, yes. She said, oh, yeah, that was fun. That's that was one of the best fun, they, most fun they had. So. And it's just so cute. And, you know, why we created the junior royalty program was because back then we our numbers were down in the older, yeah. I call it the big royalty, our numbers were down and we thought, well, let's, you know, get, give these younger girls a taste of being in royalty. So that's kind of how it all got started. And oh, every cool. year yeah. we usually get you know, a girl that was in junior royalty, at least running some years we've had girls in the final three. Really? So we, we've definitely sparked that a little bit. Cool. And it's all on essays. We don't know who the girls are. They're all a number. Um, I don't even know till the day I call the parents. I'm like, oh, okay, the application there, there's that person's name. And so who, who's the one, who does the essay reading? They're kind of thing? teachers in oh, both okay. the Eastmont and Wenatchee right. School Districts. So they read the 82 essays. Yeah. And then the top 11 this year come back and do another writing session. And then the, two, the judges compare the two. 
Oh, so, I see. Okay. So to make sure that, that uh, it's the same voice. <laughs> not, as, not as if parents would write essays for their children, you know. Well, no. I mean, I mean, that would ever so, happen. <laughs> yeah. So that's Actually, what we do. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. This has nothing to do with it, but the first computer I bought, I told the kids they could use it for their homework, and the teacher, Marie was going to Lewis and Clark, the teacher said, no, you can't use a computer for your homework because we don't want your parents doing it. Okay, so I called up the school and said, hey, dude, I didn't do my homework. I'm, I'm not going to be doing my daughter's. Right. So, but hey, we're talking with Darcy Christofferson. She's the administrator of the Wenatchee Apple Blossom Festival, Washington Apple Blossom Festival. Washington State. Washington State. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to be back with her in a minute. And this judging thing, talking about junior royalty, I want to talk about the judges okay. for the big royalty, too. So, hey, we'll be back in the ministry talking other stuff, Mike. Mad Dog McNatty, stick around. We'll be right back. So. I'm Dr. Ron Singleton. See how Ideal Protein can help you. I started Ideal Protein about 10 months ago. I'm down 123 pounds and a little over 50 inches. Using Ideal Protein, I've lost 37 pounds in just 10 weeks. I lost over 52 pounds in four and a half months on Ideal Protein. This has been a wonderful journey. The food is great and it's a very easy program to follow. This medically designed program has repeatable, safe, and effective results. Call us today to schedule your weight loss consultation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is State Representative Kerry Condotta inviting you to check out our newest show on the NCW Life channel. We call it the 12th District. Each week we'll be taking an in-depth look at various political issues that affect our area, our state, and the world. We'll be featuring local and statewide experts on the subject matter at hand. Please join us weekly for the 12th District with yours truly, Kerry Condotta. Check your channel guide for times or go to ncwlife.com for details. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from Localtel sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV Set Free. Enjoy the extra value Localtel delivers with TV Everywhere. Visit localtel.net and sign up today. Hi, I'm Eric Grandstrom, your host for Let's Learn here on the NCW Life channel. On this program, we take a little extra time to dive into various subjects to learn more about them, whether it's taxes, investing, death or dying, or anything else for that matter. We'll learn more about it right here. It's Let's Learn on the NCW Life channel. Come on, let's learn together. Street talking and other stuff. Mike Maddock, Magnet. I'm talking with one of my favorite human beings in the whole world, Darcy Christofferson. She's the festival administrator for the Washington State Apple Blossom Festival. And I want to ask her about judging. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got these 10 girls that you've got people, tell oh, the judging thing. Tell okay. me about it. So uh, any girl that's a senior at Wenatchee <clears throat> Eastmont School Districts can run for Apple Blossom Royalty if you right. have a 2.75 GPA or above. And that's even like the River Academy. The River Academy, we had two girls from the River sure. Academy this year. So uh, narrowing that process to 10 is the girls give a speech in front of their, their schools. Right. And the out of we have three out of town judges and they're 50% of the vote and then the, the student bodies, the other 50%. Okay. And how those judges are chosen is they've usually have been a past pageant judge um, or someone that is uh, in, involved in schools, and again, they're out of town, mm -hmm. uh, because they're just really judging on a speech, they're judging on how they present the speech. It's not about one-on-ones. Sure. So, so those judges, the criteria is a little bit different than pageant. So then we have our 10. And, and now, forgive me for interrupting you, but the speech the girls do at their schools, this mm -hmm. is actually sometime before the actual selection night, right? right? This is in January. Oh, okay. So they're given a speech topic a month in advance. So uh, they have a month to prepare this speech. Okay. And then so the judges come over for those speech? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. We have okay. three out-of-town judges. Okay. Right. Then for pageant, we have five <coughs> out-of-town judges, totally different. Oh, different than the, oh, mm -hmm. I see. So oh, I'm, okay. I, have, oh. I have to get eight judges a okay. year. 
And uh, so the pageant judges, they are picked, you know, six months to a year in advance. And I always have a head judge. Mm -hmm. So I always have somebody that was a judge the previous year. I invite that person back because they've been there, done that, and sure. they kind of run, run the judges. So once we have our top ten, I send bios to to the judges, um, so they can start preparing their one-on-one -on -one questions for our ten candidates. Okay, you send the girls' bios to the judges. Correct. Okay. Correct. <clears throat> so uh, basically, what happens is how they're chosen is based off of past judges. You know, they'll say, hey, I have this great person for you, you need to have them judge, or um, somebody that we've met in the festival circuit that we think would be an amazing judge. So it's just kind of one of those uh, things that just happen sure. through past experiences. Um, because the people that have judged in the past know how serious we take this and how much it means to our community. They are very determined to get us good judges. Okay. You know, so, and I seldom know these people. It's just really based off a resume and um, you know what this other person has said. I mean, right. of course, I call them and right. ask them if sure. they're interested and learn a little bit about them. But um, so basically, they get their bios right. and then they they come here and they spend the whole day with these girls. So they prepare up to forty panel questions hmm. that they prepare. The judges prepare and uh, they give the same questions to the candidates in the morning, and that counts as. Uh, uh, about 27 percent of the vote I think is what it is and then we have our one-on-one -on -one judging and that's when they ask them more personal questions sure. to learn more about them and then that's another percentage uh, 25 percent of the the vote and then it's pageant so it's a long long yeah, day okay. but they love it they love it and it's very rewarding for them all right now did you do something this this year that people could actually vote themselves? We did. Okay, you know, tell me we, about that. We used to do the community vote. Right. I mean, that's been going on since the 60s. And that's where you signed it for the paper and you mail it yes, in. That and kind of thing. what we have found is people just didn't do it anymore. Okay. You know, it just wasn't what it used to be. I mean, I remember having newspaper clippings all over a table and the superintendents of the, of the two school districts. I mean, they, that's what they did on Friday night, was yeah. counted these ballots. And that just kind of went away. So what we did this year was we had the public and the NCW Life viewers uh, be a part of voting for the most original speech. Mm -hmm. So the Apple Blossom Festival has an app now, so be sure and get, go <laughs> download your app. Just go to Apple Blossom in your app store and get your app. Uh, thanks to Crunchback for sponsoring that. Uh, and then you, you <laughs> just... Isn't she great, <laughs> folks? Don't you just love her? <laughs> so then you just push the button and you gotta yeah. pick your, your most original speech person and that counted as 45 percent of the vote and oh, then the judges wow. were still 55 percent okay. of the vote right. but what was great is both the judges and the community picked the same girl oh, obviously cool. oh, that's so cool. that's so yeah cool. so yeah it was it was a great thing we're going to definitely keep it for next year um there were a little bit of uh, spider webs in it and cobwebs <laughs> in it, but we got it figured out now. But it was but this was the first year you did first it. Year and, okay. well, first year we did it. First year we did it. So now we know what to out. do different for next year. But it made an intermission a little stressful, but it was great. Okay. It was great. So, so what other? new things have you got planned what else where well, else are you going what our, else are you thinking of our so. app has been a big thing i mean yeah, that, gonna, it, i don't have it, but it, I will yeah you've got to download our app anything you need to know about it, yeah download that app um but anything you need to know about apple blossom is on our app and i think that will be huge during the festival because okay. we we do have a website and it's a okay mobile website but the app is awesome for for your phone okay and we'll have contests on it we'll do some fun things but uh another thing that is new, which is a little time consuming, is this documentary that we're doing for our 100th festival. Hmm. We have decided to partner up with North 40 Productions and we will be doing a documentary for our 100th festival. So what they're doing right now is they're following the 2018 festival. So they've been following the top 10 and the three royalty members and now what we're doing is focusing on other events. Right. And then we'll, in the summer, we'll be interviewing volunteers. It's going to be awesome. So Stemil Growers is our presenting sponsor for that. So what I'm doing now is I'm going out and getting Century sponsors mm -hmm. uh, to help us because it's a $135,000 project. Yeah, right, I would imagine. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. Um, but with Stemilt signing up instantly saying, you have to do this because if you don't, you'll regret it. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's a great idea. That we'll have yeah, it's a great idea. Forever and we'll be able to use that footage for marketing, for sure. future mandatory meetings for royalty. 
and every time I see just a little bit of footage, I get all emotional. So yeah. I don't know what I'm, see I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with the premiere. <laughs> I mean. She's about to break down into tears. You know, I just, so. it, it is amazing <clears throat> when you think about a hundred years. Yeah. And that we really haven't changed a lot. You know, we, we, we just keep doing this tradition. Somebody can interview the cops. Yes, we'll probably have to interview. We, we, yeah. That is a segment, of course, is Good. is the Good. 70s and 80s of cruising. That yeah. will definitely be a part of it, which all these guys that are shooting this from North 40 have all been cruisers. So sure. they'll probably bring out some of their old old footage of them. But um, yeah, no, they'll definitely that's do that. Cool. So it, it'll be really fun. So that's been huge, a right, huge well, project I'm for I'm looking me. forward to seeing it. Yeah. Okay, we have been talking with Darcy Christofferson. She's the administrator of the Washington State Apple Blossom Good Festival. Job. And just, you know, I, I mean it. You are oh. one of my favorite people. Thank you, okay? you're I one mean, of mine. Well, you're a great gal, you know? <laughs> She's an asset to the community. She's been doing a great job with the festival for 24 years. Next year is going to be the 100th anniversary. Yep. Looking forward to that. Darcy's 25th. And two weeks from today, Queen Greta Viersma. If I got it right. Viersma. It's going to be uh, my guest on the show today that I'm really looking forward to. But Dars, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Okay. So, see you soon. See you okay. soon. Doing Anytime you want job. me to come by, I'll walk down here. Okay, street talking on the stuff. Mike Mad Dog McNally. I got something I want to talk about in a minute, so we're going to take this break, and I will be right back. So, bye. If you are looking for dependable car service and repair, visit the good guys at Quick Lube and Tune. They've been keeping cars and trucks in the Wenatchee Valley running smooth for 35 years. Quick Lube and Tune is your hometown shop for a 10-minute oil change, complete tune-ups, alignments, brakes, mufflers, air conditioning service, and more. Get more life out of your vehicle by bringing it to the local guys you can trust at Quick Lube and Tune on South Wenatchee Avenue. Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food. Freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Channel. I'm Eric Grandstrom with NCW Life Sports. I'm NCW Life News Director Steve Hare. Catch us on Local Tell Channel 12. You can watch us on Charter Channel 19 or stream us live on ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Where we cover the local high schools, the Wenatchee Wild, and the pro teams out of Seattle. On Saturday, we have a 90% chance of rain. Catch it all right here on the NCW Life Channel. Dear Mary Maids, please clean the kitchen and the cabinets and floors and the chairs. And I wish you could clean the dog. <sighs> Colin is now feeding himself. Thanks, Megan. Hi, Megan. No worries. We got it all cleaned up. Let's hope Colin gets past the spaghetti flinging stage soon. Till then, we've got you covered. See you next time, Mary Maids. Okay, folks, just back for a sec. Mike, Mad Dog, Magnetti on Street Talk and other stuff. Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at 7 o'clock, and I've got it right today. I made a mistake last week about the school board meeting, but this meeting is tonight. It is a safety listening type meeting that the school board is holding at the Wenatchee High School Commons at 7 o'clock, 7 to 8, and they'll be talking about or looking into your ideas about school safety. Now, I've made no bones about the fact that I think we should have metal detectors and armed guards at the schools. Uh, I'm not in any way saying this is the best idea or the only idea or in any way negating the other ideas. But my emphasis again, the shooter is out there now. Whoever's responsible for the next shooting is out there. They've got the weapons already. There's stuff we can do in the future, yes, but we need to do something now. So I'm inviting you, whether you agree with me or not, about metal detectors and armed guards at the schools, to come to the meeting tonight, Wenatchee High School Commons at seven o'clock, to talk about school safety in our schools, because folks, We've been arguing about this for 20 years, okay? We've been setting it aside for 20 years. We need to do something now, and I want you to help encourage the school board to do that. 
So again, this evening, Wenatchee High School Commons, 7 o'clock, please be there. Again, this is Mike Mad Dog McNutty. This is Street Talk and other stuff. I very much appreciate you tuning in. We will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So. Mm -hmm.